Have you ever wondered why Earth is often referred to as the blue planet? It's because water, in its various forms, blankets approximately 71% of our planet's surface. The vastness of this element is truly astounding. From the deepest trenches of the mighty oceans to the meandering paths of the world's greatest rivers, to the serene stillness of lakes, and even the icy expanses of polar ice caps. But water is not just about its impressive coverage. It's a dynamic life force, a cradle for an astonishing array of life forms, and a key player in the planet's climatic and ecological balance. This vital resource presents itself in distinct forms, each with its unique composition and life-supporting attributes. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey to explore these aquatic realms, from the riverbanks to the ocean depths, and even the iconic Amazon River. So let's dive into the profound depths of Earth's aquatic environments. Everything begins with a single molecule, H2O. This simple yet extraordinary molecule made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom is the lifeblood of our planet. Water is far more than just H2O though. It is a dynamic substance that is constantly on the move, reshaping our world and sustaining life as it travels. This journey of water from the sky to the earth and back again is known as the water cycle. Let's break down this cycle into its key processes. It all starts with evaporation. The sun's heat causes water to transform from a liquid state into a gaseous state, creating water vapor that rises into the atmosphere. This process takes place everywhere in the vast oceans, the winding rivers, and even the tiny droplets on leaves. As these water vapors ascend into cooler parts of the atmosphere, they undergo condensation, forming tiny droplets that come together to create clouds. These droplets continue to accumulate until they become too heavy and fall back to the earth as precipitation. You know it as rain, sleet, or snow. Once the water hits the ground, it doesn't stay put. Some of it is taken up by plants and returned to the atmosphere through a process called transpiration. The rest flows over the land as runoff, journeying towards rivers, lakes, and eventually the ocean, ready to begin the cycle anew. So, why does all this matter? The water cycle is not just about water moving around. It is a fundamental process that redistributes water across the planet, ensuring that life can thrive in the most unexpected places. It's the water cycle that creates our weather, carves out our landscapes, and maintains the delicate balance of ecosystems. In essence, water is a global traveler and an agent of change. It's in the clouds above us and the ground beneath us. It's in every cell of every organism. It's a part of us and we're a part of it. This continuous cycle is what keeps our planet alive and thriving. Water is not just a molecule, it's the elixir of life. This phrase may sound grandiose, but it's the undeniable truth. Water is the lifeblood of our planet, and without it, life as we know it would cease to exist. Let's delve into the many roles that water plays in sustaining life on Earth. Firstly, water is the universal solvent. Because of its unique molecular structure, water can dissolve more substances than any other liquid. This property allows it to transport nutrients, minerals, and chemicals within living organisms and across the planet. The ability of water to dissolve and transport substances is not just crucial for human bodies, but it's also a fundamental aspect of our world's ecosystems. From the towering forests to the sprawling coral reefs, water carries essential nutrients that feed the flora and fauna, fueling biodiversity. Beyond being a universal solvent, water also facilitates biochemical reactions within living organisms. It's involved in everything from the basic metabolic processes that keep cells alive to the complex sequences of reactions that allow us to think, feel, and move. In other words, Water is the engine of life on both a microscopic and macroscopic scale. Now consider the diverse ecosystems that water supports. Picture the freshwater habitats like rivers, lakes, and wetlands teeming with life. These environments, shaped and nourished by water, are home to a myriad of species, each playing a unique role in the ecosystem's health and stability. Then, think about the vast marine environments such as oceans and coral reefs, where water's influence is even more profound. Here. Water not only sustains life, but also plays a critical part in regulating the planet's climate by absorbing heat and carbon dioxide. So, whether we're talking about the water in our bodies, the water cycling through our ecosystems, or the water in our vast oceans, it's clear that water is not just a molecule. It's a fundamental part of the intricate web of life that covers our planet. Without water, life as we know it would simply cease to exist. Rivers, 
the lifeblood of our landscapes, are more than just bodies of water. They are vibrant living entities, teeming with an array of life forms, each playing a unique role in the intricate web of life that thrives in these aquatic habitats. The composition of river water is a fascinating cocktail, varying widely depending on factors such as the local geology, human activities, and prevailing climate conditions. A single drop of river water is a microcosm in itself, containing water molecules, dissolved solids such as minerals and nutrients, ions, organic matter, and suspended solids. It's also home to a multitude of microorganisms, from bacteria to algae, and unfortunately often pollutants as well. These components are not just static constituents, they are actively involved in making rivers the dynamic ecosystems that they are. For instance, the dissolved nutrients and minerals are essential for supporting the growth of aquatic plants and algae, which in turn form the base of the food web, nourishing a diversity of creatures from tiny invertebrates to larger fish species. Rivers play a critical role in transporting these nutrients, acting as nature's conveyor belts. They carry vital nutrients from the land to the sea, nourishing coastal ecosystems and contributing to the rich productivity of our oceans. But the significance of rivers extends beyond their banks. They are indispensable to human societies, serving as sources of fresh water, avenues for transportation, and providers of food. They have been cradles of civilization, with many of the world's earliest societies flourishing along the fertile river valleys. Rivers also have a profound impact on the landscape, carving out valleys, creating fertile floodplains, and depositing sediments that form deltas. They are, in essence, nature's sculptors, shaping the world as we know it. Rivers are truly ecosystems in their own right, teeming with life and playing a vital role in our world. Their health and vitality are intimately connected to the health of the planet and all its inhabitants. So the next time you stand by a river, take a moment to appreciate the life-giving force that flows before you. Oceans, the vast, deep, and mysterious parts of our planet, are home to a world of life we are only beginning to understand. Comprising over two-thirds of our globe's surface, oceans are a complex cocktail of water molecules, salts, ions, trace elements, gases, organic matter, microorganisms, and sadly, pollutants too. Unlike rivers, the composition of ocean water is relatively consistent worldwide. Yet, there are subtle variations influenced by factors such as location, depth, and environmental conditions. For instance, the colder polar waters hold more dissolved oxygen than the warmer waters near the equator and the salt content can fluctuate with the proximity to freshwater sources or evaporation rates. But the oceans are far more than just a mix of water and salts. They are the lifeblood of Earth, playing a vital role in regulating our planet's climate. They act as a colossal heat sink, absorbing solar radiation and redistributing heat around the globe through ocean currents. This thermal regulation helps maintain the global climate within a range that supports life. Oceans are also the cradle of an astounding biodiversity, hosting a range of life forms from the tiniest plankton to the largest creature on Earth, the blue whale. This marine biodiversity is not just fascinating, it's essential. These organisms form a complex food web that underpins the health of marine ecosystems and by extension, the entire planet. Moreover, oceans are the world's largest carbon sink, absorbing about a quarter of all carbon dioxide emissions thereby helping to mitigate the impacts of human-induced climate change. Yet, despite their immense size and depth, oceans are not invulnerable. Overfishing, pollution, and climate change are posing serious threats to marine ecosystems, with potential repercussions for life on Earth. Oceans, therefore, are not just bodies of water, they are the heart of our planet, beating with a rhythm of life that impacts us all. Now, let's take a journey to the largest river on Earth, the Amazon. This colossal river, the greatest in terms of discharge volume and drainage area, is a hub of life like no other. It's home to a dizzying array of aquatic species, from the curious pink river dolphins to the multitudes of fish species that call this river home. But the Amazon's biodiversity doesn't stop at the water's edge. The surrounding Amazon rainforest is an interconnected web of ecosystems, each teeming with myriad plant species. This vast green expanse forms the lungs of our planet, playing a critical role in global climate regulation. The Amazon isn't just a river or a forest, it's a testament to the intricate tapestry of life. Every creature, every plant, every droplet of water contributes to a vibrant symphony of biodiversity. The Amazon is a testament to the diversity and richness of life in our planet's aquatic environments. In a nutshell, Earth's aquatic environments are a vital part of our planet. 
These complex and dynamic ecosystems, teeming with life, include the familiar rivers and vast oceans, and the awe-inspiring Amazon River. From the basic water composition to its undeniable importance, water is the lifeblood of our planet. The diversity of life, in all its forms, in these aquatic realms is truly a marvel. Understanding these is essential for conserving these precious resources and ensuring a sustainable future for our planet.